Uh, hi, this is Alex from Make Your Move. I'm at the RLA Future Renting Conference in London and I'm catching up with Kate Faulkner following your amazing presentation to the room. Um, so I've got a few questions, um, largely about the landlords. I know your presentation was on valuations of properties, um, but it just... The, what are the biggest challenges really facing landlords right now? Yeah, well, I think the, the one slide that was relevant was that we were worrying property about location, 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 and actually the mantra now is change, change, change. So if you think you know it all this year, you're probably out of date in the next 30 days. Uh, so you have to keep up with all the legislation uh, and changes. And... Uh, not only on a national basis, but what's happening in your local authority. And of course, we have four different housing policies, England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. So added complication. Um, and on, on that note, then, um, why is it really important that landlords join associations like this? And what can they get out of it? Do you think? Well, for a pretty cheap amount of money, so they can they actually get informed about all of the legal changes that they need to worry about and best of all if they've got a problem they can ring up and get an answer um, and uh, that is the the price that you they charge for that which is all of course tax deductible uh, is absolutely phenomenal so um, you know I always say to people if you go into hospital like I, I, I better one um, over at Easter I, I was doing the Manchester event and I said to him I said hey, put your hands up if you went away over Easter and there was quite a few put their hands up and I went well you're all out of date because uh, there was something like 30 new recommendations come out from the government one Easter weekend and, and a whole set the following weekend as well so you go on holiday, you get sick you know, you get busy somebody, uh, you've got to go out to a property or something it is that easy to miss something that you could get fined up to 30 grand for yeah. Yeah. And so, With the landlords today, the makeup of them, so they're not really, there's not as many full time, really experienced landlords. There's a new influx of accidental landlords that might be doing this on the side, part of a future investment. What would your advice be to those new entries and also to anyone that's considering becoming a landlord in the future? Uh, so, absolutely do your research, particularly on prices, rents. Don't believe you can buy any property and you will suddenly be rich in the next 10 or 20 years because that's a guaranteed way to fail. So, get your purchase right for starters. Uh, and then the second thing is if you are new to this, um, you absolutely cannot do it without the support of a landlord association. Um, or, better still, work with a uh, self regulated um, agent who is ALA. Nows or RICS, but most importantly has client money protection. So uh, in just under 12 months, client money protection will be a, uh, a legal requirement. Uh, we believe quite a few agents won't be able to get it. So if you, let, if you give your property to somebody that could go bust, well, guess where your rent is going? Because it's probably not in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, on your, your proposed, you know, the report that came out on Monday, I know you've not had a chance to go over it all completely, but the, the MOT idea, yeah. um, would you say that that's a little bit like the uh, Rent Smart Wales licensing scheme thing? No, I don't think it's about that because that's about training the individual. This is about making sure the property is safe. So it's much more like, think about um, our, most of our cars on the road are safe because we have an MOT and that's tied into your insurance into your insurance and actually we need to do exactly the same thing um, as far as a property is concerned as soon as a property has been let to somebody that's in bad condition and worse still being let to somebody in bad condition by a bad landlord the cost of getting rid getting that of looking after that tenant getting that tenant out getting that tenant rehoused um, enforcing and prosecuting that landlord is phenomenal so why are we letting all these properties come to the market in the first place um, it's it's much better to do that. So uh, that's that's the idea really behind the MOT. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for your time and talking to me today, and for an amazing talk as well. It was really interesting. So thank you.